It's your boy Matt. The guy who thought it'd be a good idea to buy a mansion on the top of a hill. It's about 32 degrees this morning, which isn't terrible, but then there's about like a 20 mile an hour wind whipping through this open house. It's a little chilly. But if this video gets 100,000 likes, I'm gonna put a pool on the roof. First off, let me introduce you to my new assistant. She's a great worker, super, super smart, and knows a lot about carpentry, so. And not a wimp at all. Are you cold? <laughs> How many uh, pair of pants do you have on right now? Three. How many layers you got on your top? A long sleeve thermal shirt, a sweatshirt, and this coat, and a vest. How many pair of gloves you got on? Two. Two pair of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still freezing. You have uh, like snow boots on too. I have a problem. <laughs> Those are insulated snow boots. Uh, first off, it's actually gonna be pretty easy. We just need, there's a window here, and this is a closet in a guest room. We don't have a window on our new updated plan, so we are going to close this off, which should not be very hard at all. First things first, we need to knock out this board and this inside board here, pull this whole section out, and we can actually just put one board going all the way up there. So, here you go, Hulk. Get in there. I don't even know how to start this. <laughs> I'm actually, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna get a saw. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. <laughs> Good job. You're a really big help. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> nice. Going green, we're going to take this board off and we're gonna actually use this stud back in the hole. Maybe. <laughs> you fall off. Oh. Oh. That was not smart. That's how people get hurt. I was gonna take this one out too, and then I was like, why am I even gonna take that one out? That one's extra, but it's not, we don't need to take it out, so we went ahead and moved this one. That one's on 16 inch centers from that one and that one. This one's just an extra board. Uh, that we'll need to put some like, I don't remember what these things are called, the little ones go in between to keep them all spaced right and not twisting, but we'll do that later. Window, gone. This is a guest bathroom. Very nice, our guests are gonna love being in this shower bathtub thing. Uh, this window is actually gonna be like two inches bigger, so we're gonna have to bump that out a little bit. That shouldn't be too hard. This was just one window. We are actually putting in two windows here. Glutton for punishment over here, I guess. And these drain pipes are in the way, so I'm gonna have to chop these drain pipes. And the window, there's gonna be one window like right here. So I'm just gonna chop them later on. We'll reroute them around go around the window and come down to that, because we want to use that drain down there. So I think this will work. Um, so we're gonna have one window here, one here. All right, Mary, get after it, I'll see you later, thanks, bye! But here's a window we did the other day, and I like the way that the framer does his work. He has this one stud here that goes all the way to the top. That is called the king stud. This is a cripple stud. This cripple stud holds up not only the window, but then another one continues up and holds up our header, which is super cool. So I'm gonna actually kind of copy that on our window over here. So in here, they have like four boards put together on this, which uh, we don't need that. So I'm gonna take out probably the inner two boards and um, make that one side our window and then work away this way. Need to knock that out first.
we just uh, made a header. So this is a boxed header. So the way they had them before, they had nothing on the top, which is not as strong. Do you almost fall over? Oh yeah, you're not on level ground there. But we made a boxed header. So you can see it's totally supported on all sides and it's gonna slide right in there. And then we put one little piece on top up there, nail it all in and that's done. Let's see if it fits, that's the real question. Did we do it right? Need a hammer? Oh, it's gonna fit. I'll get you a hammer. <laughs> Don't fall out the window, please. You're a good 12, 16 feet up right now. I'm just scared you'll fall. Now we nail it in there. We put one more on the top, and I think we need another board um, in the middle because that's gonna be over 16 inches there. So we'll have one more board in the middle, one board there, and then this window is totally framed up. Done, we got the top done. The header's done. Hey, hey. good job on your first window. Only 400 more to go. <laughs> They'll stick the window in, everything's level, everything's square, everything's the right measurement, I think. Oh, I look I terrible. Just, I'm so confused what they were thinking of putting. Windows like, above all the sinks? Yes. I mean, the view is pretty, look at that. I mean, yeah, but like. Look at that view. Don't you have to like look at yourself in the mirror to put makeup on? Maybe they were really ugly people and they thought the view was better than their faces. <laughs> You were a terrible person. And I'm going to this guy that I'm working with who taught me how to do the framing. He uh, He's really good at what he does. And he, he gave me this cool hint that I thought was really neat and it was cool to see him do it. He was like, in your tool belt, you always put the same stuff in the same places all the time. He's like, you never set your hammer on the ground. You never put your pencil down on the table. You always put it back in your tool belt in the exact same place. And that's so you can be fast to grab it. So he's like, I need a pencil. I know exactly where it is. And I put it right back. And he doesn't look at it. He just is like, he quick draws and he sticks it back exactly where it goes. He's like, I need a hammer. The hammer's right here. And I put it, he doesn't look down. He just throws it back exactly where it goes. He's like, tape measure right here. No problem. Put it back in. I'm not good. I'm trying to like do like what he does, but he's so fast and so good. He's been doing it for like 20 something years. And he's just like, nail gun, boom. And he hooks it right back on there. Never looks. He's like, boom, boom. He's like the Jerry Mitchell -like of framing. Forget that you guys aren't like a pew pew audience. You probably don't know who that is. He's a guy who's really good at pulling things out of holsters. And that's what this guy does with a pencil. I thought it was really neat to see someone who's like so skilled. Like, I feel like. I'm a above average woodworker. I can do more than the average person can do. But this guy can do like what I can do, but a hundred times better and a hundred times faster. It's really cool to see. So the stuff Meredith and I just did was super easy stuff. This is the stuff that I am not looking forward to. Just rot. That, that. Yeah. Should be fine. So this is the perfect example of why we are fixing things. This was actually pretty hidden. There was this big beam there, right here. And we could tell from the outside, just looking at it, that the wood is not great. Like, picks off pretty easily, but had no idea it was like that. How crazy, I mean, you can just tear it all apart with a finger. 
it is just so rotten. So this whole bottom plate obviously is bad and needs to be replaced. So that is why we're attacking these, the problem areas. I mean, I'm only showing you the really bad stuff right now. Most of the house doesn't look like this, but a few areas right here where there's a roof that leaked right down when all inside the walls, it just rotted out everything. Not good, but we'll fix it. We'll build it stronger. Hey, a lot of big changes happening. All this, totally new. All that, totally new. New, 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 new. Old, still have yet to open that door. <laughs> We're getting there. New, new. This is the really bad rotten part. You can see it's all fixed now all beautiful. This is where that super rotten footer was. All brand new and fixed and perfect. New, new. Uh, but we actually may change this window. We kind of framed it out and then we were like, it looks a little too big. Holy cow, look at the, the view. Dang. Anyway, this window looks a little bit too big and we haven't actually ordered the windows yet. We've just like got it all figured out. We've got it all like detail on how much everything's gonna cost and which ones we want, but we haven't hit the send button. So we still have time to make some adjustments if we see something like that that we don't necessarily think is perfect. So I think we may make this a little higher. Just window there, not whole thing. Not sure yet. I need to ask uh, my boss, <sighs> Meredith. <laughs> Still need to frame out that. Lots more dirt moving in. Whoa, what happened there, Matt? Well, what happened here is we started tearing apart the worst part of the house. So that rotten board there, it kind of all looked like that all through there. So you can see it's been totally trimmed back and then totally opened up. You can see it's supported here and here with some temporary studs. Let's go up there. Huh. Ah. Nailed it. I just cut all the rotten part out and now we will build new wood back in there in its place. Perfect, and then obviously frame out this wall. This is gonna be a kid's bedroom. Actually, it's kinda, of, it's kinda of neat just having a big open room here. Um, maybe Lincoln will be cool with it. Just be like, hey, don't roll off your bed. It's a long way down. We did remove this roof as you saw, and that is because we are actually gonna add another room right there. Kinda of not a whole room, just like a bump out a little bit. We're changing, it. ooh, this roof is a little soft here. Changing it a little bit. And then here, we're gonna do away with all the parapet walls. So where the roof comes down and then there's this kind of fake wall sticking up. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna have all shed roofs like that, where the roof just comes straight down dumps off. Much better for getting water out and we just like the look a whole lot better. God, speaking of the look, look at, dang. I'm learning a ton about framing and renovation and redoing old framing. You can see right here, we just have a big support here holding the roof because we've taken out all the studs that used to hold the roof up there. So these things are carrying all the weight. Cool stuff like that, learning how to support a wall while you rebuild the wall so that the wall doesn't fall. The question will arise in the comments, Matt, why didn't you just bulldoze this house and start all over from scratch? You're having to rip out so much stuff, wouldn't it have been easier to just bulldoze and just start fresh? The answer is no. It would not have been easier. It would not have been cheaper. For instance, look at all the framing that goes into making a house. All of these nails were put in one at a time. They didn't ship this whole roof in and just drop it on here. Some guy came and built all of this. And if I bulldozed it all over, I would have to have some guy come in and build it all again, which would take forever. So we have actually gone through and spent a lot of time figuring out exactly what the best thing to do is, and this is the best thing. 
most of the framing in this house, dare say 80% of it, is good. And we're gonna keep it. And some of it's beautiful, like this kind of stuff. Structurally, totally sound. And so there's no reason for us to rip it all out. So what we are ripping out, most of it is on the edges like this, where the windows were busted out by kids a decade ago, and rain has been getting in for a decade and rotting out the wood and making it all nasty. So we're fixing that. We're redoing the windows so they can fit our new windows that are coming in. But overall, the vast majority of the studs are gonna stay exactly the same. Thanks for hanging with me at Renovation Ranch on today's Abandoned Mansion video. Be sure if you're interested to get your Demo Ranch socks. Did you know we had Demo Ranch socks? Well, we do, and they're keeping my toes extra warm. Thank you guys for liking this video. And if it does get 100,000 likes. Yeah, we could. I appreciate all the comments that we've been getting on past videos that say this abandoned mansion video motivated me to do a renovation in my own home. It's a super cool skill to have if you can actually renovate something. And I don't have the skills to renovate this house, but I'm learning every day that I come out here and work. I learn something new and I'm learning from professionals. We're obviously, we have help on this house and it's so awesome that we can get help to come because this would take me like 19 years to do this by myself. But I'm working side by side with these professionals and they're teaching me the best practices and now I'm a more skilled carpenter than I was a few days ago. My goal is at the end of my life, when I'm an old man, I wanna be a wise old man. I don't wanna be a crazy old man. So every day I'm putting in work to not be crazy and get more wise. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. No, you are. Thanks for watching the Renovation Ranch series on the abandoned mansion. I love you. I'll see you next time.